Hi, guys, glad to see you here. This is AppGeeker channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you two different ways in which you can transfer your data from your old Android phone to your new iPhone. Here, I'm talking about all your photos, all your contact information, and the text messages, and anything else you may want. And now I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Okay, firstly, I'm going to show you how to use the official tool to move your data from your Android to your fresh, new iPhone. Right here, this app is called Move to iOS. And there's one thing you need to know before we get started. The Move to iOS app is going to transfer your files from an Android phone to a fresh new iPhone, but only during the setup process. That is to say it only works for an iPhone that hasn't been set up yet, an iPhone that is on the Hello screen. Okay, if your iPhone has been set up already, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to make your iPhone back to the startup screen. Okay, now, I open my iPhone, you can see it's on the home screen, right, so I'm going to reset it to get it back to the startup screen. This will erase all the content and settings on this phone, all right. If you don't want to lose any data on your iPhone, then you can skip to the method number 2 that I'll introduce later in this video. Okay, so here, I'm gonna make this iPhone back to the very beginning. Now, to reset it, we open the settings on this iPhone. And here, under settings, go to the general. Then scroll down, and at the bottom, here, you see the transfer or reset iPhone option. Okay, now, we choose it. And since we need to put this iPhone back to the startup screen, here we select Erase All Content and Settings. Okay, we're almost there. Tap Continue. Then Erase Now. Okay, now, this iPhone is wiping out all the content and settings itself. It's gonna take a little time here. Now it's done and you can see the hello screen flash out. All right, from here, we do a very quick setup. Choose language, region, connect to your Wi-Fi, and else it asks for. And then, you see this apps and data screen appear right here. There are several options for you to move your data. You can see there's one that lets you move your data from Android. So choose Move Data from Android. And now, you'll be given a one-time code. It's usually a 6 or 10 digital code. Okay, now, put down your iPhone, just leave it alone for a while. And what I'm going to do next is to get the Move to iOS app on my Android phone. Make sure that your Android phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your iPhone does. Okay, you can get Move to iOS from Google Play, or the App Store on your Android mobile. Once installed, open Move to iOS. We simply read the terms and agree to continue. And here, to send files from this Android to that erased iPhone, we need to go with the automatically send option. OK, go ahead. There it is. You see, it's asking you to enter the one-time code. So, now, we enter the code we've got just now. Okay, you can see my Android is connected with my iPhone now. And on my Android phone, it's a transfer data screen. Here, we can pick messages, contacts, calendar, and even my Google account and more. I can also add files if I want. Now, I just simply select photos and contacts. You can choose whatever you want, okay, and tap continue. Okay, now, here should be a loading bar. It's transferring data from the Android to the iPhone now. It may take a little bit time here. I just put the two phones near each other. And when loading bar finishes, I tap done on the Android. And I'm going to continue with the setup things on this iPhone. Just input everything it needs for the setup process. Okay, the new iPhone is set up now. The moved data files are all here, on this new iPhone. 
your previous photos, contacts, all here for you now. In this method, I'm going to transfer data files from Android to iPhone just like copy and paste. Yeah, you hear me right, it's just that easy. And it will be much quicker. Okay, first, I'm going to open a browser on my computer. And go to appgeeker.com. Here, move your mouse to the products. Under File Transfer and Backup, click Phone Transfer. Okay, now, I'm going to download it on my Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, there's an option for you to go to Mac version under the download icon, make a click to get it. Okay, now, open it from the desktop. Since I'm going to make data transfer from Android to iPhone, at the top, I should choose phone transfer. And over here, you have several different options to transfer data from phone to phone, phone to computer, and also from computer or iCloud to phone. Well, I just go ahead with the phone to phone mode. Okay, over here is the connection window. The left side should be the source phone, in our case, this should be Android here. Okay, let me connect the Android first, you can see it detects the Android phone automatically. And I just need to follow the on-screen steps to enable the USB debugging mode on the Android phone. Here's very detailed instructions. Tell you how to turn on the debugging. If, in case that it doesn't detect your phone automatically, you can click cannot recognize the device from the left bottom and choose Android, then select your phone model from the options. For each phone model, it tells you how to turn on the debugging. Okay, when the Android is connected, I'm going to connect my iPhone. You can see this iPhone is on its home screen. It has been set up, and you don't need to reset it or force it back to the startup screen. So connect it. Make sure your source phone is on the left, and the target phone is on the right. If you put them wrong, here's a flip button to exchange them. It takes seconds to scan and display the available files on source phone. And everything I can transfer is all here now. You can see all my photos, contacts, text messages, videos, basically every type of data file is here for me to select. I'm going to pick photos, contacts, messages, and click the start button below to make it start. You can see the loading bar. It's transferring pretty quick cause it's using the wired connection to copy the content from the Android to the iPhone. Very fast, and it says the transfer completes. Now, let me check the photos. You see, it's completely synced, so everything is identical. So, you can see how easy it is to transfer data files from the Android to iPhone. You don't have to worry about losing image quality or the file damage, which moved to iOS may fail. And the best part is that you never have to reset your iPhone or erase any data on it. You move your data just like copying and pasting, no reset, no erase. Okay, that's everything with transferring data from an Android to an iPhone. Hopefully that helped. If you have any other questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more useful tricks. Thanks for watching. This is AppGeeker. See you next time.